Please welcome to the table Ben Zimmer. Ben, thanks very much for joining us. Now, how long have you been involved with Silicon Halton? It's been a little less than a year now for me. Tell us about your company. Uh, my company, Enable Education, uh, we're based in Milton. Um, and, we're neighbors, uh, as it turns yeah, out. Yeah, and as yeah. it turns out, as is, as is so often the case when you get involved into this kind of networking, you realize that the, the guy you walk by, the woman you walk by at Tim Hortons, is not only your neighbor, but you know someone that who's, who's got services and capabilities that you, know, you really ought to be talking to. Right. Um, it was actually a local high school teacher, a uh, robotics teacher, who made the recommendation to me to say, hey, you've got to check out the Silicon Halton. Um, at that time, I looked it up as a LinkedIn group and, and joined it that way and right. uh, came out to the first event, which was you know, kind of eye-opening to see you know, dozens and dozens of people there in, in, in my community offering services and having capability that, that, wow, I really need to talk to that person because I really need, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm having trouble finding someone who can help me with that. And, right. You know, sometimes you just need that 30 second conversation to get you started realizing what you don't know that you don't know. And that's what's been of the greatest value to me is, you know, being able to talk to these people. Well, first and foremost, before we get too deep into yeah. this, tell us about your company because I've had a chance to watch a few videos on YouTube and stuff. I thought they were pretty cool. So just tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, Enable Education's had a really interesting uh, few years. We've had tremendous growth over the last couple of years. We kind of, I was a, what you call a solopreneur. Uh, it was my wife and I for the first year and a half, have a laptop, we'll travel kind of consulting company. <laughs> and over the last four years, we've grown from two to five to, to 10 to 15, and now we're at 20 people. And Unfortunately, I'm having to break uh, 18 months into a five-year lease to grow into a larger space in Milton. Um, and what we do is we create media-rich educational materials for companies. And uh, that got, we got started there in, in the robotics world, the robotics world for high school kids. And we did uh, a whole bunch of training videos to help kids learn how to program robots, because that happened to be what my personal experience was. And uh, that went over really well. It was interesting. One of the large supporters of one of the large corporations based in the States that supported these, these, these kids called me up and said, we keep getting thanked for our great tutorial videos. We're not doing tutorial videos. Who are you? Um, come on down. Let's talk at the World Championships. And so we got very involved in an ecosystem where we were creating um, educational videos, tutorial videos targeting high school kids, teaching right. them really complicated engineering Video is topics. huge today. It's just so, it's so graphic, right? Exactly. Uh, you know, I have to tell you that in pre preparation for the show, most oftentimes Anthony, our producer, gives me a bit of background information about our guests. And my truck is in the shop right now. And I drive a Suburban. <laughs> and it's in the shop. And I got a call from uh, a, a GM dealer here in Milton, who whoever remained nameless, Wallace. And he said, the rear differential has gone in your truck. And I'm thinking, oh my God. I mean, you know, okay, that's a whole other issue. And it's, it's, I drive lots and lots of highway miles and we tow and, you know, it makes sense. It's part of maintenance. And I click on this YouTube link that Anthony sent me and it's like, this is how the differential works. And it's a graphic showing a little Lego truck and different ways and different things spinning and how the wheels will spin at different rates. I think this is like incredibly apropos. I can't believe it. But what, 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 what I was impressed by was how it was explained and how, how something as complicated can be made to look so simplistic. Exactly. That was fantastic. Well, hey, I appreciate that. And, and I think that that's the keys to our success over the last little while. And you mentioned Lego, and Lego Education North America is one of our largest customers. And they're a, a great partner to have worked with. And we create all kinds of material that support the, the products that they sell to teachers into various grades of classrooms. And one of the problems is you need to make sure that not only the kids, but the teacher has a really low barrier of entry. So they can start using this high tech. Um, tool and be able to run with it and, and have almost guaranteed success out of the gate. And that's really been what our company has done and, the, and what has fostered a lot of growth over the last few years. Um, and what I've built up a, a really amazing team. I've got an, an eclectic mix of uh, software developers, certified teachers, graphic designers, audio and video production, and web and app development because that whole package has really been the key to our success. And what we realized as we grown and built our team that this doesn't have to just be for kids. This doesn't have to be just for the classroom. That our real push in the last six, eight months has been, all right, now let's get it into the boardroom and the training room. Let's, let's reach out into industry and to commerce and, and find customers that, that need this. And every conversation we have is that you know, they're really lacking that ability to create that content. Now, when we decided to, uh, to have you guys in the show, obviously, um, uh, Rick and Chris, you guys, we said, hey, we want when you bring one of your associates on the show. Why did you choose Ben specifically? Um, ben is, is a great success story, right? He's a kind of a, a perfect example of a company that didn't know there was a community around him, 
And for one way or another, he managed to find out about us, probably word of mouth. And he came out. He saw what he liked. He, we uh, we talked before the break about get to know your members, sessions that we have, segments. And he did one. And we approached him to join our one of our peer-to-peer -peer groups that we have. And, and he just keeps getting more and more value, we find, out of the group. And that's what we're trying to deliver. Our, our kind of our mantra is, you know, the rising tide. The rising tide raises all boats. And so we can educate CEOs like Ben, you know, one month at a time to get a little better at what they do with the ultimate goal of creating more jobs and wealth now, for we're, the community. We're really running out of time here, and I, we'd love to have you guys back and maybe discuss love this in more back. detail sometime. But you had mentioned about some offshoot groups, and I know, Ben, you're a member of, uh, of one of those offshoot groups. Touch on basis on that real quick, the CEO group. Sure, absolutely. I, I mean, I was invited by Rick and Chris to join the CEO peer-to-peer -peer group, which I think uh, it's of everything, an offshoot, right? it's, it's an offshoot, right? And we meet, we meet monthly, and you know the doors are closed, and it's really fantastic to have a forum where you know a whole bunch of other business leaders in, in, in the region are able to talk about the kind of things that's very difficult to talk about um, amongst your staff because everyone will agree strategic with you. Direction. Yeah, strategic yes. direction and, and very high-level questions and gaining um, you know value from everyone else's mistakes and successes and and really being able to talk openly about the kind of challenges that are faced by by business owners right that mastermind principle again we keep bringing it up and it makes so much sense so absolutely um, okay Ben what's the best way for uh, our viewers to reach you we want you need ed educational training videos and things like that yeah. what's the best way for them to reach you uh, enableeducation.com is our website uh, you can email me directly Ben at enabletc.com and I'm happy to receive any inquiries um, we know that your business is going to become more and more relevant as time goes on because we've already had people here who sat right in that chair and said that, uh, that YouTube is going to surpass Google as the next big search yeah. engine. That's mm -hmm. where you are, right? That's where you reside, right? And the key is to make content that is good right. and relevant. Right. Yes. Yeah, and well, and well done. And you certainly do a great job in what I've seen so far. Sure. Um, um, Rick and Chris, thank you very much for joining us. What's the best way for uh, our viewers to reach you guys? You can find both of us on our website. SiliconHalton.com and both our profiles are there and links are scattered all around the website. That's probably the best way to find us. I've already been on. It's a cool website. Lots and lots Thank of you. information there. So folks, give yourself lots of time to sit there and browse around. So, um, Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Pay Yourself First, TV Code You Go show about your financial success. Don't go away. We'll be right back.